Place overall. New game. The game autosaves so you can pick up where you left off. Oh, my head. What happened? Where am I? It's so dark. Ouch! I'm locked in! Help! Is someone there? Ugh, I probably shouldn't have done that. If they hear me, they might knock me out again. I hear some rattling. If I feel around, I might be able to locate where that noise is coming from. I might be able to pry it loose with my hands. There we go. Hmm. It's still locked. Maybe there are more screws. Another screw! <gasps> it's starting to give way. Chapter 1. Three Days Earlier. April 13th, 8.35 a.m. My first day at work as a reporter for Radio IDUN. Richard would have welcomed me and showed me around, but he disappeared three days ago. I'm really worried. Carl might know something about where he is. Carl. How's it going? Oh, hi, Patricia. Just fine. How are you settling in? Richard. Goodbye. Richard. New at work. It's a lot to process in a short amount of time. Yes. Something on your mind? The chief. The radio station. The chief. The ra Carl's job. The radio station. Well, I got a quick tour yesterday, but maybe you can tell me more about the radio station. I don't know what to say. The building is a bit much for my taste. It was originally built as a royal library, apparently. I'm sure Monica at the reception can tell you more about the station. The radio station. The ch Enough about work. The chief. The chief has barely had time for me yet. What is he like? He can be a bit difficult to deal with sometimes. He wants to be one of the crew and make good broadcasts, but he also wants to make his bosses happy. Oh. He's not in charge? No. He only runs our department, even if he sometimes acts like he runs the whole station. Enough about work. Thank you. Goodbye. Richard. New Richard. Have you read the newspaper today? N no. What's on your mind? It said the police have closed the investigation on Richard's disappearance. What? No one has seen him in three days. I know! They claim there's no indication that a crime has been committed. How can they not care about what happened? I'm sorry. I know you're good friends. Is there anything I can do? Thank you, but I don't think so. I was so happy when he got me this job and was really looking forward to working with him. Richard's job. Enough about Richard. Richard's job. Richard's disappearance. Richard's disappearance. Do you know anything about Richard's disappearance? No, nothing. I was going to snoop around in his office, but someone had locked it. Do you think there's anything in there? I don't know. But he spent a lot of late nights in his office. I thought maybe he had left some notes about what he was working on. Enough about Richard. Richard's job. Do you know what he was working on? Some stories, but nothing that would explain his disappearance. You spent a lot of time together. He never told you anything? No, but I got this feeling he wanted to tell me something but couldn't. I thought it might have something to do with what he was working on. Enough about- 
enough about Richard. Thank you. Goodbye. Thanks, Carl. I'll see you later. Goodbye. The lobby. The radio station's lobby. Grandiose and awe-inspiring. You can't help but be impressed by it. Richard's office. It's locked. Could there be a clue to his disappearance in there? The chief's office. A well-furnished office that smells of leather and cigars. Excuse me, chief. Do you have a minute? Yes, one minute. What do you want? Goodbye. Locked office. Richard has, Richard has disappeared. What do you know about Richard's disappearance? Only what the police have said. And what is that? Nothing. Aren't you concerned about your employees? Of course I am. There's just not a whole lot I can do about it. We've got radio to produce. I don't have time to worry about something that's out of my hands. I'm sorry, I know the two of you were friends. But you're the manager! You can't just sit there and hope for the best. Careful now. Richard's recommendation is the only reason you're here. Locked office. Why is Richard's office locked? The police have already investigated it. They didn't find anything. You have to understand, I don't want other people running around in there causing even more trouble. They must have missed something. Are you doubting the police's competence? Stop meddling with things you don't understand and go do your job. A key cabinet. Get away from there. Do you often rummage through other people's belongings? Hmm. The key to Richard's office is probably in there, but I'll never get to it as long as the chief is here. I really don't have time for you right now. Go to the newsroom. Maybe you can learn a thing or two about live broadcasting. The lobby. The newsroom. Monica, the chief said I could go in. All right, just be careful and don't do anything to disturb them. The newsroom. Furnishings are simple and functional. It's the heart of the station. In a short statement, she later said the future looks bright and that negotiations hmm. are only a large switch. Do I dare conditions. pull it? An international no. The yes. The South is escalating. The mediators believe a solution yes. is in... What the heck are you doing? What are you doing, Butterfingers? You just interrupted a live broadcast. I'm sorry. I lost my balance and fell on the switch. Get out! Probably not the smartest thing I've ever done, but it should keep him busy for a while.
the chief's office. Hmm, this key looks like it could open the door to Richard's office. I don't care whose fault it is. It's your job to make sure these things don't happen. I'm sorry, Stephanie. We're working as fast as we can. It's good of you to remind me. <clears throat> we had some temporary technical difficulties, but they're now taken care of and we will continue with the broadcast. Oh, the broadcast is up and running again. I better get out of here. The world's leaders meet in a summit on the environment. The conflict in the South is escalating, and Greenwood Steel has a new manager. I'm the lobby. Your host with today's news. Richard's office. I hope I brought the right key. Yes! Patricia versus Locks, one nothing. Richard's office. Okay, let's see what you're hiding from me. Richard's noteboard. Nothing of interest there. Hold on, there's a VIP card to the Duke Silverglans Club. I didn't know he was a member there. Isn't that a bit too expensive and exclusive for him? I just noticed that the painting is a bit crooked. There's a safe hidden behind it. I doubt the police would have left it alone if they had found it. I might need some assistance opening it. The lobby. Carl's in my office. Carl! What is it? I managed to get into Richard's office. Someone had turned the place over, but unlike me, they didn't find the hidden safe. We have to open it. Nice. I have an idea. Should we go to his office? Yes. Yeah, let's go. Here, take this contact microphone, place it on the safe, and you might be able to hear when it unlocks. Wouldn't it be quicker if you did it? You found it, so it's only fair that you open it as well. I'll keep watch and let you know if someone's coming. Okay, Richard. Let's see what secrets you've hidden in here. So, uh, how do I do this? With the contact microphone, you should be able to hear the click from the locking mechanism. When you hear the clunk of the locking bar, you should stop and drag in the other direction. I think these kind of locks usually start to the right, so drag to the right until you hear a clunk, then switch directions. Keep doing that until the safe is open. Patricia versus Locks, two nothing. Now let's see what you thought was worth hiding, Richard. What did you find? A tape. I wonder what's on it. Hmm. We better listen to this in our office. 
Let's load the reel into my tape recorder and hear what secrets are hidden on it. Well, what's wrong with your tape recorder? It's not my recorder, it's the tape. I'm not entirely sure how I'll fix it. You'll have to give me a few days. Chapter 2 April 14th. The chief has given me my first assignment. I'm to interview Samuel Silverglands about the renovation and development of the Duke Silverglands Club. A lot of members are big shots. My boss among them. I'm not sure how I feel about this, but I'm going to make the best story I can. I'm already on thin ice, after that incident in the newsroom. Sadly, I didn't have time to do much research, but apparently Samuel Silverglan's father passed away about a month ago. Oh, wow! Now I see why the club has Duke in its name. This place looks like something you'd find in a castle, with all the leather, mahogany, and paintings all over the place. Voice overrun. Landscape. Frequency control center. Direct touch area. Control center. The club's bartender. Control center. Hello, I'm Patricia from Radio... Portrait. Adult. Clothing. Sign. Control center. Low power mode. Music recognition. Music recognition. Low. Selected. Hearing. Selected. 